Okay, so here's how to remove the hard drive from a Lenovo IdeaPad 310 Touch 15 ISK. So, it's pretty simple. You just remove this one screw. And out of the way. Pop this open. Comes out like that. So I already changed this to an SSD. Um, so you just lift the back and wiggle it and pull it back. So these pop out and just pull on them. on it like that. Same thing, pull out both sides, put it back onto the new drive, just pop them in, swap the drive back in, make sure it lines up, push it back in, put it down, put this back on, and put the screw in place. And then, if you want, you can also remove the CD drive, also pretty simple. Just one screw here. Take the screw out. Once you have the screw out, pull this out. You've got the CD drive. So if you want to replace that, you have to also swap this over to the new one. There's one screw there as well. So this laptop, they built it pretty easy to swap these things. You could also add a hard drive adapter in here if you want to add a second hard drive instead of CD drive since people don't really use CDs much anymore. And then under here, if you want to change the RAM or the wireless card if it's having issues or you need to replace it. This one had a wireless card issue earlier. There's the um, keyboard connector here. So this one, if you have to replace the keyboard for some reason, the connector's right here. Um, there's this latch that you have to lift up before you take this off. And then this one, I believe that's for the trackpad, but I won't know unless I take it apart. Um, but I'm just going to show a quick tutorial. So if you want to change the RAM as well, there's this. You just pull these to the side. It pops out like that. Um, to put the RAM back in, make sure it's at an angle like this and then you just push it down clips into place uh, wireless card if you want to remove the wireless card pull out the antennas first you pull up from the back and it'll pop out don't pull from the front or you could accidentally break the way they're designed um, it has a gap actually that that when you pull it from the back it releases it it's hard to see but yeah and then so to put them back you just push them back down make sure not to put too much force you should feel it click when you do that and then similar to the ram uh, you take the screw out once you get the screw it pops up it's spring loaded and then you just wiggle it out so yeah and to put it back same thing keep it at an angle and you just put it back down make sure the antenna wires are out of the way push it back down and put the screw in place uh, it's hard to do with one hand but I'll see what I can do so, do that, and then, yeah, just put the screw back in place. So, earlier this computer was having a hard drive issue, and uh, once I put the new hard drive and reinstalled Windows, I found it was also having a wireless issue, so after I removed the wireless card and put it back, wiped the contacts off, uh, it was working well, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, then there's the processor heat sink right under here. It's soldered in place so you can't remove the processor but if it's having heat issues sometimes you have to redo the thermal paste but that would also require complete disassembly. So that's all I'm going to show for now until a customer actually needs me to completely disassemble one then I'll show that. Alright, thanks, bye.